So please allow it. So this is what we used to call as diffusion. So by using this diffusion experiment, understand it. So diffusion experiment, we can give the evidence for what guys? Evidence for particle in matter. Do you understand everybody? So particles, uh, particles in matter. Now, have you noticed it? For example, in of itself, you go to your uh, 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 somewhere water water tank or somewhere. Now, or else you take the water in the container and just drop the just drop the uh, third. You have a powder, guys, in our home. Normal powder. Yes, please. Do you have powder in our uh, home? So just dra drop the one or small particles of powder in, a, in the water. Then this particle, you might be notice it, this particle will start moving in a random direction. Have you noticed it, guys? Yes, please. On the surface of water. Yes or no? So the particle, the, the particles of this uh, powder, understanding. So we'll keep on moving on the surface of water. We'll be keep on moving in the different directions. So this, this is only this motion only we used to call it as zigzag motion. What is to call zigzag motion. So zigzag motion or else we can say we're having some name for this. So the random motion also we can say random motion. So this random motion by their own mix when the different substances is mixed together is only called as Brownian motion. What is to call? Brownian motion. So please all of you note it down. That is very, very important. So the movement of random movement of particles, what is to call guys? Brownian motion. Brownian motion. Okay. Yeah. Please write it. That is, I will say the definition. Right, everyone, definition. Right. The random motion of the random motion of particles. The random motion of particles is only called as what is to call zigzag motion or we can say Brownian motion. Brownian motion. Is it okay, guys? Yes, Brownian motion. So if you are having in your home, if you are having talcum powder, you just put it in water and you can see on the surface of water, it will be keep on moving randomly. Yes or no guys? That is what we can say that random motion only is to call it as Brownian motion. Now, we can, we can understand this uh, evidence for particles in matter by which experiment guys? By diffusion experiment. Understanding? So diffusion experiment, what do you mean by diffusion? Mixing the different substances. Is it yes or no? So when we are mixing different substances, okay, so what will happen? Then we can notice it. It is made up of how it is made up of small particles and what is how the particles are moving or not. Either the particles are moving or not, both we can prove by, by using diffusion experiment. Okay, so now that is what the movement of you can notice it the pollen grains are movement of this talcum powder, which can only be you can see explained by assuming that all matter is made up of tiny particles which are constantly moving inside the water. The same way like every matter, the particles are moving. So with the help of talcum powder, we can prove that experiment. The particles are moving, keep on moving constantly. That is what we can say. And if you dissolve a solid in a liquid, or else if you are mixing two gases, both I will teach you, or else the movement of pollen grains in water, everything will indicate matter is made up of particles and the particles are in what hurry? Particles are in motion. Is it okay, everyone? Yes or no? Yes, no. Sir. 
let us discuss the first experiment which we are going to study for our today's class that is dissolving a solid in liquid dissolving in a dissolving a solid what first experiment dissolving dissolving a solid in a liquid a solid in a liquid okay now as i said already arun kailas try to speak gokul you also if not leave from the meeting no issues i don't have any problem now as i told you if you keep a small uh, some amount of lump of sugar at bottom of the bottom of the glass and if you keep on pouring the water as we know if you are not disturbing also if you leave it for undisturbed also sugar will be disappear is it yes or no guys after some time will be disappear and as well as the water will turn into what the water will turns into what water will turns into sweet is it yes or no so sweet it will turns now but we will never see the dissolving of uh, sugar here is it yes or no guys we cannot see the movement of sugar how it is sugar is mixing with upper particles yes or no please respond so that is why because why sugar is a colorless substance so we people cannot see the diffusion of diffusion of sugar is it okay guys Yes, sir. So we cannot see diffusion, diffusion of sugar. One minute. We cannot see what diffusion of sugar. Understanding? Because why it is a colorless substance, so it is not possible to see. not possible to see diffusion is it okay guys diffusion of sugar that is why can we take any color particle so that we can easily observe or not ready danishka yes, yeah that is what so that is why dissolving a solid in a liquid i am taking a chemical called as potassium permanganate what is the chemical i am taking guys everybody potassium permanganate please write it i am taking what chemical potassium permanganate okay so now why what is the color of this means permanganate okay this is what so this potassium permanganate basically will be in pink color what is the color of this pink color pink color pink color and the formula if you take potassium permanganate potassium what is the symbol anybody anybody Okay. Yes, potassium not P. So potassium permanganate later class chapter number three will study. So potassium permanganate is KMnO4. Is it okay? So please all of you learn. So this is what we used to say. So this is the potassium permanganate. Is it okay, guys? Okay. Potassium permanganate. Okay. So now I have to take this potassium permanganate and which is what is the color of that one? purple colored solid substance okay so it is like a pink almost so that is the color we can say purple colored solid substance so now what we have to do this guys anyone what we have to do so we have to dissolve in where we have to dissolve in a liquid what is the liquid you will take everyone water we can take yes that is what we what? as water so all of you what we have to take means if you will go to the chemistry lab collect the potassium permanganate and if you will notice it here we have to keep it in the some kind of beaker so the exact pictures also i will show you so the pictures you can see and you can understand so this is the experimental setup we have to do so now potassium permanganate is a solid substance which i have been taken in the container and i have been added the water what is the color of the water guys what is the color of the water water is basically is a colorless understand color. so it is the purple color now i kept at the only one corner but i have seen guys after some time this purple pur purple color is spreading into upwards have you seen yes sir no yes this process is only called as what moving from high concentration to low concentration what is the process diffusion we can say now once you leave it for undisturbed then what is happening all this water turns into what complete water turns into which color guys complete water turns into which color 
purple color. Understand? So we will study the dissolving of potassium permanganate water. So if you take this crystal or solid potassium permanganate in a beaker of water, that is what we can say crystal of potassium permanganate. Crystal means solid crystal, you know, guys, like a stone. That is what we can say crystals. Okay. So crystals of potassium permanganate, which is purple in color, if you have been taken and if you add the water, okay then slowly it will turn on, it, uh, on its own even if, if you are not not stirring also not uh, disturbing so slowly it will spread up uh, purple color and potassium permanganate whole water of beaker can be turns into what guys whole water of uh, beaker will turn purple color that is what so that is what you can remember so we can prove that potassium permanganate crystals and water is made up of what is made up of a tiny particles understanding so is once they are made up of tiny particles that is the reason it is spreading throughout the water is it yes or no and potassium permanganate completely mixed with the water and finally it changes the color of the water also which change the color of the water from colorless to what color colorless to purple color that is what so we can say the potassium permanganate and water both are made up of tiny particles so these particles of potassium permanganate which is purple colored whereas the particles of water is what colorless basically now when the potassium permanganate crystal is put in water so its particles separate from one another and these purple color particles of potassium permanganate spread throughout the water and making the whole water into which color guys making the whole water into which color purple color do you understand everyone so that is what so when we put it in water each particle will be separating out and it will be going to occupy the space between the water understanding so each water water is made up of what particles guys we all know that water is made up of what particles h2o understanding so water particles this is called as so this purple this purple color potassium potassium permanganate particles will go and will occupy the spaces between the water spaces between water particles okay so that is what then complete water from colorless it will turns into which color guys it will turn into purple color that is what we can say so from this we can say the particles of potassium permanganate they will they will get into the spaces between the particles of water so how the spaces is present in the particles of water anybody can tell me so as we know you studied in class 6th solids solids means what solids means tightly packed is it yes or no is class 6 you studied or not Yes, tightly packed so the spaces present between the particles is very less but if we take liquids particles are loosely packed so particle in between the particles they are having some gap that gap only we used to call as what is that called as harish if you know you can tell me or anybody you people know you can tell me that gap only we used to call as intermolecular space yes or no intermolecular yes. Space because water is a liquid. Understand? So now, if you take a gases, gases more for each other. So gases are more for each other. So intermolecular space is more or not? More, sir. more or not? Space is more. So that is why you can see once the potassium permanganate solid particles will separate out, they will go and will occupy the spaces between them between the water particles so that is why what complete water will turns into what guys complete water will turns into purple color understanding because purple. everywhere the all the gaps between the spaces between the particles is going to occupy with which particles is going to occupy with the water is going to be occupied with the potassium permanganate particles so slowly it will be spreading now this is the picture which will help you to understand overall overall uh, uh, spreading of potassium permanganate now shall we take in the form of solid liquids as well as everyone in the form of like this solids and as well as liquids and gases now this picture you have to draw in your classwork have you taken guys everyone now 
If you take this is the picture, now everybody notice it. Now, based upon the solids, liquids, and as their gases, the particles distribution I will show you. So please observe very carefully. So how the particles are distributed and how it is spreading and how the purple color is coming. Understand everyone? Shall we start? Now, if you take potassium permanganate is a solid or liquid, guys. Potassium permanganate is a solid or liquid. Solid, sir. It is a solid. Solid. If you will notice, can you understand this picture? So this is the potassium permanganate where I kept it in my beaker. Is it a sir now? Now, okay. it is solid. So particles are closely packed or loosely packed? Particles are very closely packed. Have you noticed it? Closely packed. Now, these particles, when you pour the water, so water is having gaps or not? Everywhere, are, is it the particles having gap? Yes or no? Yes, sir. You see? Is it like, a, is it potassium permanganate and water is same way? There is it arranged? Have you seen potassium permanganate tightly packed, but water is not tightly packed, loosely it is packed. Yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, when the time keep on increases, you can see these potassium particle, potassium permanganate particles will spread. Actually, sugar also same, but sugar we cannot see. That is why we are taking what? Potassium permanganate. Understand? So what is the formula of potassium permanganate? Vartani, Gokul, KMNO4. This is what potassium permanganate. So you can see how the particles are distributed. Now, once the particles are distributed equally or uniformly throughout the water, do you understand everyone? Throughout the water, the water. water completely turns into what? The water completely turns into purple color. Purple color. Purple color. You can see potassium permanganate occupying the spaces between the water particles. Is it yes or no? Is it right? Am I right or wrong? So it is occupying the, wherever it is having spaces between the particles, it is occupying by it. So that is why this will, the complete water, it will turn from colorless to where, guys? It will turn in colorless to purple color. Okay, guys? So from this experiment, we can say that. Uh, we can say what we can say guys particles are always uh, sorry every matter is made up of tiny particles and as well as particles are inside a matter is always in what always in motion is it yes or no guys yes please yes, sir. so why we are not using here sugar sugar dissolving in water but it's sugar not uh, color is uh, is dissolved, but we cannot see because sugar actually is the same thing, but it is not having a color, so we cannot see the how it is spreading in the water. So that is why we we, we won't use the sugar. It is okay, but sugar also we can use it. Is it okay, guys? Yes, that is what. So let me this I'll stop for this class. Then tomorrow's class will take. Now I take what I take dissolving a solid in a liquid. Is it yes or no, guys? Dissolving solid in a liquid, then you know tomorrow's class will take. As I said, one more thing that is what mixing of two gases. What will take, guys? Mixing of two gases. We will take it. Is it okay, everybody? Mixing of two gases. Then we will take two gases and we'll mix them and we'll observe how the particles are moving and how it will be happening and all. Okay. So with this, I'll stop the today's class. Thank you, everybody. We'll meet in the tomorrow's class. Thank you all. Thank you, sir.